I'm David W. Ross and I'm the writer, co-producer and I play Jack in I Do. At 19 years old I signed a record deal with A&M Records. I was one of four members of uh, the UK boy band Bad Boys Inc. As we became more and more famous, I would have to be smuggled in the trunk of a car to get to my house. We'd be followed around by hordes of girls in cars all the time. We had girls living outside my house. I couldn't walk down the street. I mean, there's this frenzy that happens and I just wasn't happy with being in that situation. And I, I saw an opportunity to leave at 21 and I took it. I just wanted to find out who I was as an artist. And that was really the most important thing for me at the time. So I do is about an English guy uh, trying to get his green card. He loses his work visa, marries his best friend. And when that marriage goes horribly wrong, um, because he can't marry the man that he loves to stay in the country, he has to make an impossible choice. <laughs> it's, it's funny because I do started off as a broad comedy. It was pretty slapstick. It was only when I met all these binational couples doing the Prop 8 rallies and Judy and Karen, who I'm doing the United by Love, Divided by Law portrait project with, everything shifted. I knew I wanted to tell a bigger story. I knew it had to be more serious. And I knew it had to be um, ultimately a human story, not a gay story. Immigration is a federal level right. As the law stands, with gay marriage only being on the state level, your marriage would mean nothing. So our relationship means nothing? Your relationship is not the problem here. So few people know just how the Defense of Marriage Act, DOMA, is, is tearing families apart. I mean, we know there are at least 40,000 plus binational same-sex couples in America, and um, about 40% of those have families. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to make the film was to really take people through this journey where they, they get it. So the more visibility that this issue gets, whether it be immigration, uh, whether it be social security benefits, whatever it is that, that is the issue that's not being you know, dealt with because of DOMA, the more people speak out, the more people realize marriage doesn't mean marriage in America um, for same-sex couples. I've always wanted to do my art and and I really hope that through making this film I get to continue to do that. And uh, I would like to, to do some more acting and I, I know that I'm out and that can be a challenge for producers and directors in Hollywood, but uh, I love what I do and I'm just going to keep doing it, no matter what.